Welcome to Three Sheets One Shot. Hey Hello, Joe, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm good. I'm good. Awesome. Can, Riley, can, can you hear they us can, now? <laughs> they can they can hear me, you can hear me, I can hear you, they can hear you. <sighs> you know, I don't understand because it's it's like on Tuesday when I try to set up for the uh, Banana Brothers, I have you on Zoom. The the video, right? And I can cover your video up over on my laptop and it's not a problem. I can, I, I've captured that screen, but I tried to do it for the Banana Brothers and it wouldn't let me. It, it was like this blank thing. So I have to leave that whole laptop. Like I can't put any other windows over there. It, it's crazy. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to Three Sheets One Shot, everybody. Hey, guess what I have for you, Joe? I have something. Oh, uh, this is totally new and unexpected, and I had no idea. Please do tell I will tell you, and I actually did tell him already um, what these were. Um, I I think I've announced this before, but I was part of the Kickstarter for this phone set. Never in my life will I paint this many minis. Ever. And because Joe has graciously painted so many of our minis for us and has donated prizes of minis four, and four minis. given me so many minis I'm going to send him several of these minis to keep for himself Ooh. to do whatever oh, he wants to with it oh wait is the is the treant in that do you have the treant if if I do it's yours oh boy I will give you the treant you hear that guys and girls uh, get, uh, mind beings I've got, okay, there's this, I don't know what this one is. No, that, that, you know what, this one looks big enough that I could paint it. <laughs> it's not too tiny. I might keep this one for myself, but check this one out. That's pretty cool. Oh, well, look at that look, uh, There we go. Like a sword and a... I know, look yeah. at that shield. I mean, that shield is as big as some of the characters. But... Oh, yeah, yeah. Not any dwarves you might come across. I mean, there's hundreds of minis here. I'll never, ever paint them. This, there's a wizard here. Oh, here's the wizard. Check this wizard out. There's this wizard. And, oh, wow. Yeah, this one's even... This one's definitely... Oh, that's like a classic Gandalf I know. There's one. a Gandalf one here. Oops, let me get over here. Oh, that one's more like an Elminster kind of yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I... I Literally, I mean, look at look at these. I have hundreds of them that I'll I'll never, never paint. <laughs> and they're Reaper uh, Bones for it's the core set plus because I got in on the the big set, on the on the Kickstarter. There's just I have I have, I'll never get paint these. So because you well, have a friend of Kajari's Curious Crafts and then the new iteration of just Kajari and Three Sheets One Shot, I'm sending you some. I don't know which ones yet. I need to keep some of the ones that are like this boar and this alligator because Daros has yeah. now gotten higher levels and can now transform into some of these creatures. So I need to save those, but um, some of the, definitely the townsfolk and stuff like that, I want you to have as as a gift from Yeah, sure, absolutely. Me. So, First thank of all, you. thank you very much. That's far too kind and I do not deserve your kindness. Uh, second of all, uh, it would be um, uh, unkind of me to not pass that on. So what I'm gonna do is paint them and give them away. Oh, okay, do it. That would be awesome. Whatever so you want, I'll they're do. yours to do it as you please. If you want to give them away, the the D and D Twitter community is fantastic and yeah, that's definitely so, you know, to help build the, the the Twitter community. I mean the uh, the D and D community. Yeah, or as uh, as uh, Clover says, the Quitter community. <laughs> Like, did you just say quitter community? <laughs> okay, so let's write a story. Okay, you're in the lead. Go. One, I two, three, have, go. Shoot. I have a British son. Not many people know this, but he's not really my son, but he has known Drake since they were 13 years old, so half his life. 
more than half his life. My gosh, Drake's going to be 29 soon. Um, and he and some buddies over, some blokes over in, in England want to start a D&D game and they want me to DM. So because of the time zone difference, it's not going to be streamed. I'm going to, at least not for now, I'm going to uh, DM for them Mondays, like from 3 to 5 my time. So what's that, 8 to, t 8 to 10 their time. And um, they're, some of them have never played Dungeons and Dragons before. Like, never. So I thought it would be fun to put together a very easy beginner one-shot for them tonight. Because I want to introduce them to the world of Aminrath, of course. And and do that. So we should do that. We should uh, definitely start them out in a nice, easy, small dungeon crawl. Or some, you know, typical, probably goblins or gnolls or something. Maybe not goblins, because goblins in my world are slowly I mean, turning into allies. I, I had, you had a great idea of just, like, starting it in the, um, in the, um, tavern. Like, just yes. a good old-fashioned bar fight. You meet, oh, that's a great idea. You meet in a tavern. I love it. So, I decided that if you're looking at the map, I don't know if you can see my mouse, this southwest side of, of Tsara, from, from Crow's Hollow and Tarathiel, that southwestern direction, there's a, a shoreline there, and there's nothing. There's n nothing there. So I thought, okay, well, let's put in a, a city on that side. We, so we need a, a elven city. The reason why I chose sort of this area is one of my four players has, uh, has said, can I be a uh, half-elf? Sure. So that would make sense that they're from some not maybe the main city of Tarathiel but some offshoot city and since we've got humans over here in Stonebridge and humans over here in uh, in Coventh that seemed like a good idea and actually there's humans down in Greymouth Point so perfect so perfect. from <laughs> the Goshen of Dynasty no that's where the Banana Brothers are currently hanging out I don't want them anywhere near the Banana Brothers Bingo. <laughs> how about um we set we decide on a new city in Tarathiel or village. We'll call it a village, a small village. So we need to do that. We need to first come up with the environment is uh, the village of what? What chat? What should it be called? Whoops. Here we go. A it's an elven village. I've already lived up to my end of the three sheets of the one shot, Joe, have you? Uh, no, I didn't have time to grab anything, but, um... Oh, man! But that's, that's fine. Twa in. Only if you tell me what that inside joke is, because I'm not going to write it down here unless you tell me. <laughs> Twain? <laughs> I don't know! I don't know if I want that! That Let's sounds like an inside joke, Rylan. What do we need? We need, we need, um... We should check. Town names. We should check. Uh, fantasy so, elven, elven city names or something. Oh, so we're gonna do elven. So let's do elf. Let me see here. Yeah, elf names. City of. Why is elf? Well, because really I've, see... I've got it blown up to the size of old lady age. Here we go. I don't really see. Um... Uh, Falduin. That's a cool name. Council it's names. got a sister oh. city, yeah. I knew something had to come. Something had to come up, Rylan, with you. Interesting. I don't quite see any <laughs> like <a> town <laughs> name. <generally. laughs> no. Place I like. Name. I like. I like Ilmatar. Okay. That looks kind of cool, don't you think, Ilmatar? The village of. Ilmatar. Okay. Um, and it's a bar. They're going to meet in a bar. In yep, the, so we're going to need a tavern name. Yeah. In the tavern uh, name, bed, and breakfast. Or inn and tavern. I'll say inn and oh, tavern. These are some good ones. How about the loud hamsters? Love it. In oh, the... Oh, all right. Loud hamster. How do you spell hamster? Loud hamster in and tavern. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's the that's the name of the tavern. The loud hamsters. <laughs> that's not very or, elvish. 
Or how about the frightened albatross? Or the orange couple? I like these. Are, I don't know. I don't know where these tavern name generators. Is, but they, they like the idiots. colors. I think maybe the tavern name generator has joined us in the three sheets one shot part. I the think they have one. already gotten their three sheets to the wind already. The busty dragon? No, the busty. Elven elves aren't busty. That's more of a dwarvish name, Rylan. The <laughs> this one's kind of awesome, but there's no way you're gonna use it. The mean stick. <laughs> the mean stick. Let's uh, see here. I don't want to use the mean stick. <laughs> These are really weird. How about the German? <laughs> The German seagull. I don't even know what that means. I don't even, yeah, how does that even come up? The rainy ox. How, why is your ox rainy? We didn't have know, a discussion about how. I don't know. Let's see here. The, the peaceful the, lobsters. That's hysterical. The freezing mango. The magnificent group. I like group. grotto. Oh. You know what? Let's, let's mix grotto with an elven name. How about? Gormar's grotto or. Oh, I was going to say Otto's grotto. Otto's grotto. That's more dwarvish to me. Otto is more of a dwarvish name. Yeah, I was going for. Did I, did uh, I click on? I did. I did click on elf. Okay. <laughs> Ye old chicken pub. <laughs> <laughs> Super jellyfish. <laughs> Ooh, here's an here's an actual here's an actual decent one. The Tell metal me. magpie. I like magpie. Magpie is in. Magpie's grotto. How about the, yeah, Magpie's Grotto. Yeah, sure. Magpie's sure, Grotto in and Tavern. And why don't we have the owner be like Rylan suggested? Magpie. It could be uh, a dwarf who runs it. And who is called Magpie? Who's called Magpie? Okay. And it could be like a running joke. Is like, why is a dwarf called Magpie? Why are you worrying about it? You want to fight? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Could be He's like, like always, always. Um, uh, defending his name. Thus many bar fights. <laughs> Oops, not this. Thus many bar fights. All right, so who's the bad guy? You're supposed to keep me on track, um, um Joe. Not Riley. You're doing Riley a good job keeping your. Track. <laughs> you're doing a good job uh, keeping it on track. See, I would not, I would not have like a bad guy per se. Just a bar I fight. I just think, I just think that a bar fight should break out. No, no, Riley. No, no. necromancer. Wait, Bad Ryland. I want to see if I can like delete individual comment. I don't know things. if you can. Um, uh, <laughs> I, He's I think a mod that, too, like, so he might not let you. Oh yeah, it'll be a, a, a mod fight. Um, a mod fight. I think that like the B, big bad evil guy should be um, like just like the serendipitous bar fight because this should be like a tutorial mission more or less. You know what I mean? Like yeah, to teach like people. how to. Yeah. Oh, you know what it could be then? It could be a test of skills. It could be. Could be a skill test. Um, actually, Rylan, that's not a terrible idea. The first one, not the second one. <laughs> the the bard sorcerer. sorcerer. Not, and I can't believe I'm saying this out loud. Sex rom sex romancer. We're we're not gonna have a <sighs> yeah, bad guy that's that. I don't know. Like, I think they came up with tranquil. Send them to the basement to clear out the rats. Look, it's been done. Let's get past it. <laughs> <laughs> We've cleared out basements of rats. <laughs> Something different. Um, what if what if there's a group? What if there's a, a a group of ruffians who call themselves the rats? I like it. All right, that's it. It's a it's a. They're young. They're punks. Uh, punk kids. They're half elves. Uh, who uh call themselves. Ah, get tight. Uh, the rats. The rates? The rats. Two things happen in D&D. Meeting in bars and clearing out basements. Cellars. It's not basements. Dude. Young punks. They're a half-elf group of kids who call themselves the rats. It is, consists of... Who's in this group? Uh, Alright, we've got a female. And what is she? She's a rogue. We've got a... Um, yes. Uh... Two males, and they are uh, what? Sorcerer. Um, I would have them be both fighters. Fighters, and, okay. And then one like sorcerer, because like, like, because it would it wouldn't be cool to be book smart wizard. That's but true. But this but this this caster is like 
you know, wacky zappy sorcerer. Oh, he's so crazy. You know what? We should. That's do. how the kids talk, right? That's how all the cool. It kids is exactly how talk. the cool kids talk. Uh, Joe, you have you have it on spot right there. But what we should do is let the DM decide if they have a group of brand new players. Let's say that they have a brand a group of brand new players. They have let pretend a paladin, a rogue, a cleric, and a fighter, right? So they need to pick four other classes so that during this fight, they all can see what the, uh, the other ones do. Yeah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> Such enthusiasm. <laughs> I, it's a good idea. You know, just the best way to, the best way to, to communicate you like an idea is to shake your head. Oh, I didn't. Like I, I'm not looking over at the nodding. I'm, I'm just waiting for a verbal response. Oh. <laughs> I don't, I don't, if I look over there, then it looks like I'm not paying attention to my audience, which is right in front of me. Okay. Yes, if, so, you look over there, if you look over there, it looks like you're looking right at me. You look, hey, look, look we're looking, I think we're looking hey, across. Girl. How are you? High five. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, it's, um, they, they are whatever class that is not represented in the parties classes. <laughs> I'm shaking my <laughs> I'm shaking my head again, but the other way. Wait, well, it's making me scroll back. And a bard, and the Fonz is the bard. I'm not, not putting the Fonz in this game. All right, so. This, this is sort of an open sandbox type thing, I guess. We're going to let the DM... And I'll make a note of that at the beginning. That the DM needs to, ahead of time, before they run this, is know what their players are playing, class-wise, and then choose four, or an equal amount of ruffians. Ruffians? Is that a word? <laughs> Works for me. Um, that's not represented by the, by the party's classes um and this is this is to introduce all the all the the uh, typical all the standard classes yeah yeah and the mechanics of of all the classes or as many as you can okay is there a twist uh oh, the protagonist must be the innkeeper yeah, yeah. So we need it. We need a name for the innkeeper. Well, it's uh, magpie. But magpie. Maybe we can make. Maybe we can make his name something like Magnus Pidelil, and they call him Magpie for short. Okay, but you have to spell that last name. <laughs> you guys think of something. Um, Ma uh, Magnus. Fourth name. So Magnus is his first name. Yeah, Pi. Pi. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll give a, um, shout out to an old EverQuest player. Uh, his name was, uh, Piotr Venus. Oh. All right. How that, is that? That's not how it was spelled, but that makes Magpie sound better. Or works yeah, okay. better for Magpie. But his name was Piotr Venus. He was a gnome, I don't know, something. But that's... That's a long, long time ago. That's twenty years, that's like, twenty-five years ago. That's like, like a, that's a that's a that's a callback. Maybe only Rainick would get. Yeah, Rainick and Pythagoras <laughs> does a lot of math. <laughs> works with, works with theorems and stuff. <laughs> All right, uh, let's describe uh, Magnus. He has uh, he has white hair because that's what Pio had. Uh, long white hair. Full, thick beard, braided. Sure. What else? Uh, probably like, you know, dressed like your regular publishing. Um, you know, like a like a leather apron and yes, and fairly simple clothes and nothing really fancy. Yes, commoner uh, slash innkeeper clothes. Is he secretly a a class? Does he have 
knowledge of a of a class? Could he be a barbarian well, somehow? Let's te let's test this real quick. Rylan, what class do you think he should be? Don't say it. Don't no. Don't give him that option. You know what he's gonna say. He's gonna be necromancer. You know he's, he's gonna, gonna say, say necromancer. A dwarven necromancer named Magnus Pietrovanus. I don't think it's gonna happen. Um, he's a necromancer. Oh, Eldritch Knight. Oh, uh, Eldritch Knight. <laughs> Wait a. Way to subvert the common, uh, the common conception. Eldritch <sighs> Knight. Mic okay. drop. Mic drop. Boom! Um, right. well, like, maybe he doesn't need a particular class, or maybe he could be, like, a really complicated class, like an artificer, or, you know, like... Okay, like you know what? Everybody, everybody else in the, you know... Uh, everybody else in the bar is just like a standard like fighter. Or yeah, I like it. Ranger. He's a tinkerer. This guy. Artificer. Yeah. Tinker. Um, yeah. Tinkerer. Okay, so Ilmatar and Magpie's Grotto Inn and Tavern uh, is this dwarf who has long white hair, a full thick beard, which is braided, dressed with a leather apron, in a leather apron, not with. Uh, commoner and keeper clothes. He's an artificer. He's a. Uh, I've never run an artificer before. What kind of? They would they would invent things, right? They do like yeah, like, like clockwork and, items. And so maybe the um, and... yeah, tavern is full of unusual clockwork. I always spell work with an E because of nether work. Uh, items. Cool. Bags of holding. Ooh. Yeah, he could be an enchanter. Yeah, why not? Yeah, he, maybe he could enchant some things. Uh, yeah, maybe he has uh, some arcane abilities to enchant. I don't know. We can make him anything we want. It's our world, right? Okay, so is there a twist to the story? I was thinking about that. What do you think? Well, I, it, it's it's fun to fight other characters. And I think it would be a good idea so that the new characters would understand what other classes do. But why don't we have the twist be that something attacks the inn and now all eight have to now defend against this big creature defending. So here's my idea. I'm going to use D&D &D Beyond. Oh, don't look at that. That's a spoiler. <laughs> I've been working on that all day. <laughs> Nobody tell the Banana Brothers. They have something in D&D &D Beyond called an encounter tracker, which is really cool. So I'm going to, and you can see that I've got a couple of encounters already going. So I'm going to create a new encounter. And it's already pulled in, as you can see, it's already pulled in because I've logged in as my account, the characters from Banana Brothers. See, it's got, uh, there's got Uko, Glutton, Daros, and Beaufort. But I'm going to uh, make a new one without them. So I'm going to uh, manage the characters. Uh, let's see. I, I'm going to not do a preset. I'm going to say four level one characters. Okay? So I'm going to add them. And now I've got, as you can see on my mouse, number of characters four, and the average party level is one. Okay? Now I'm going to look for monsters. So what I want to do is I'm going to actually go back to manage characters because I'm going to say that the four other NPCs are going to add into the fight. Or let's just say two. Let's just say there's two. Not four. Because I think that'd be too much for the, the uh, DM to have to control. So now I've got six level one characters and they have to defeat one big creature. Right? Four so now we're going to... Level six creature. A uh, dragon. Well, oh, I'm, I don't think I'm just kidding. Also, also, hi there, game masters. Hey, GMB! All right, so we're going to look for uh, environment would be uh, urban. And we're going to find any, let's make them chaotic evil because they're just, atta uh, they're basically attacking an inn and tavern. And we're going to make the challenge rating D20 
down to... Do you think that six level ones can handle a one or a two? Uh, sh let me see here. Should they be able? To, should they be able to handle a three? Hold I'll on, go let me to three. Because this is really cool. If you've never used this before, so I'm going to um, do that. And there, right now, that's what it's giving me. It's giving me zero through three. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go up there and change it to change the filter to bring it up from zero. We don't need halves in there. We'll do one. We'll have it do one to uh, one to three. So what you do is then you start adding. Look over here on the right, this encounter summary. I hope it's not, oh, it has cut off. Hold on a second. Let me get, let me fit that into the screen there. Uh, you can see the encounter summary there. Yeah. Um, and what you do is you add, I don't know why I didn't, there it goes. So I'm, let's say, let's just do a ghast, a ghast attacks. They're CR1. So I'm going to add one and you can see the difficulty is easy for six level one characters. That's relatively easy. So let's add a ghoul. It's a level one. Oh, now it's become deadly. So one ghoul and one ghast has now become a deadly encounter for six level one characters. Isn't that cool? Yes. Oh, I like that. I do too. So let's take the ghoul out and let's make it two ghasts, which is even worse. It's really deadly. <laughs> or let's take the ghasts out and make it three ghouls. Okay, now it's definitely deadly. So this is what's really cool. Once you've got that determined, then you can go up here, save the encounter, whether you have to name it. Let's just say a uh, tavern brawl. And you save it, and then you go to run the encounter. And if you pull from one of your campaigns that you have preset, which I will, these these player characters will all preload, which is really cool. And then you then they, oh, nice. you, they type in their initiative, and then you auto roll the initiative for your monsters. So I've rolled for the monsters, and now I'm going to go up and say, okay, this one's rolled an 18. Uh, 16, this one rolled poorly, it's a cleric. <laughs> this one rolled a 10, oops. And this one rolled a seven. And this one rolled, I don't know, a nice 21. Ah, oh, they wouldn't roll a 21, 19. And then you go down here and you hit start. This is so cool. So now it's player F's turn. They rolled a 19 because they could go ahead of this ghoul. But when they do, it, it pre-populates the ghoul's hit points. And if you click on the ghoul, it shows to the right all the stats. Like everything nice. you need. And then when it's someone else's turn, you hit next. And it's round one, turn two. And you keep hitting next until everyone's dead or the mobs are dead or whatever. It's just such a cool little thing. And, and it's really helpful to determine what is considered a deadly uh, foe to your party and if especially if you have that many things so what we say two ghouls come in and and that's the twist sure yeah sure works for me two ghouls you're, or you're driving this train so if you <laughs> want two ghouls it two ghouls we're having or two will see or or two cr what did i say twos they were twos right creatures yes yeah and it's yeah, any, it's any deadly CR. but maybe maybe the innkeeper mag Magnus is um, has a, has a, a clockwork something that helps the fight, you know. Yeah. Something. So that's the twist: is uh, two ghouls attack the inn, and now everyone has to fight together instead of just having a tavern brawl. They all mm -hmm. have to fight off these two ghouls. I like that. I like it. Yeah. All right, hold on. GMV's writing stuff. Second time. In the second session of my current campaign, my five level one PCs defeated 42 skeletons, a flaming skull, a level five necromancer, and environmental hazards. Oh my gosh! All while the paladin was blind for 95% of the session and the wizard was out of spells. Holy crap! What kind of level one? Did you give him magic or something? I mean, magical gear? Magical items? Well, that's true. If they can run away. Yeah, you're very, you're very true. Yeah, Tiamat. Yeah, I'm not gonna throw him. <laughs> <Tiamat. laughs> 
Yeah, he could have... Rylan, you're right. I'm scrolling back in chat. Uh, I was thinking he, he could have a golem or some sort of turret or something. Or, like, the bar could be the golem. You know, like, it just hangs out in bar form. Yeah. And if things get really dangerous... I like it. He just, like, flips the switch and, all, oh, now it's kicking butt. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so that's that's a beautiful idea. You guys are all coming up with great. A low level party that now knowingly goes into a dragon slayer in my campaign will find a dragon, not four to six. Guys. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, that's if, if you have a sandbox game and they walk into it, I mean, they're not going to come out. <laughs> they're not going to come out alive. But that's just that's the that's the path they chose. Now, I mean, if you tell them it's a goblin cave and they find a dragon. <laughs> that's a little on you, that's, but that's a lot on you. Uh, well, unless it's the Banana Brothers, then it's probably on them because I probably did say dragon and they heard goblin. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> being being dumb, you know, it, it, like yeah. the, if the characters are dumb, then the characters are dumb. Yeah, they just do their own thing. All right, so this is awesome. We've got a, a new section of map. I guess we'll put it this. What do you think in this little? Inlet, inlet right there, sort of on that yeah. corner. Maybe make it a port village. We'll, what were we calling it? Uh, Ilmatar? Is that what we said? Uh, yeah, that's close. Ilmatar, yeah, I like that. I'm going to put two L's in there. I think that should it be E with like Elmatar. Uh, yeah, I can make it easy. Does it sound more elvish? I like that Elmatar. Well, okay. I yeah, like it. Works. Okay, and I want to show you guys something else. Um, as we're building this this in, I I don't follow a lot of patrons. I I'm very careful with my money, um, because I don't want to take advantage of. The generosity of my patrons but to benefit the banana brothers i follow and and have and, and am a patron of afternoon maps on patreon Hang i on, love Ryan afternoon maps something. what's that i love afternoon maps yeah like it's, it's, aren't they great yeah the couch is really comfortable and a map. Maps. maps i can't believe you made me face palm i thought that was just a banana brothers thing hold on Rylan's written something here. Uh, and sometimes being dumb causes your characters to figure out that while they're running from 42 skeletons, play with skeleton. <laughs> One of them throws a torch at the session. <laughs> Everyone and everything. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know, and it's... I love afternoon maps, too. Afternoon maps. And I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll pull them up on my Patreon. I have no problem with that. Um... And the reason why I, I'm saying this is because this is the perfect time to show you what you can find on afternoon maps. They have no social media presence except for um, their Patreon, which I, I understand, but um, I already logged on. And their website. Uh, log in. Um, they do have a what? website? They, yeah, they just it, it said that they're in Google. Afternoonmaps.com. But, oh, did they? Okay. Um, oh, it's a message. Oh, well. Um, but. You mean like heavy on the H, Rylan? Like cool? Cool. Like, let's do cool it. <laughs> so I'm going to look for a tavern here. And, okay. Showing posts with tavern. So, let's see. Usually I can find one. The Green Bastion to Tavern. Okay, so here's one. It's a heck of a tavern. It's in the snow. Oh, there's it looks one. Like. Snow day. Oh, that's just a, um, that's just the header. Hold on, I gotta click on the actual thing. Yeah, look at this tavern. It's like I guess it's the inside of a of a Arctic tavern. Yeah, like a longhouse. That's nice. Yeah, the Royal Museum. They are. Oh, there's a longhouse there without the snow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here we go. I keep clicking on that. I don't mean to click on that. 
this is the PDF. Sorry, that's that's the I clicked on. I didn't mean to click on that. Here we go. So yeah, so there's just the longhouse, and th there's so many. And I have this really cool one that the um, Banana Brothers are gonna use hopefully Tuesday. We'll see if they get past the the one that they're in. Oh, what's cool is they have them in the daytime, and they have them variants with the nighttime. Oh, nice. And you can print these out on like cardstock and then I tape them together and they're beautiful. There's one sort of in a, a wintry looking thing or underground. There's one with snow. Oh yeah, that one looks like, like it's on, like almost like the underdark. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, and I just looked up tavern. I, I There's probably, I could probably find a bunch more. Um, plus, plus when you're done with them you're you wake up all refreshed and you know it's only like two hours long i, know. I, I, I did know. the, I did the, nap the afternoon, afternoon nap absolutely so i just i love this um this that shadow line is really nice I yeah like it's, it, it's basically showing you uh the two variants daytime and, and nighttime but you get you get the full download and you get the download with uh with with a grid and without a grid I think I'm at the two dollar a map level. Okay, so here's one called Half Pint Tavern. Let's let's look at this one. These this is blown up too high. There we go. Half Pint Tavern. Okay. Continue reading. Look at that. See that little just a little tavern. That's a perfect tavern. It's got a it's got a little stable there. And see it's got a, a nighttime version of it with a, a road coming in. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I think uh, I think we'll do that one for this. Let me, I'll download that one. I won't do it now, but I will uh, look it up and, and do that later. So that's what I use a lot for, and, and because um, I did clear it with the, the creator of the maps, I'm allowed to use them for my D&D with the Banana Brothers. Nice. Um, yeah, it's it's really awesome. And, and when you buy the map, you just, you buy tabletop download and you buy the, um, you get the uh, online version too. It's really cool. The uh, VTT and then the PDF and then the other uh, JPEGs. So really cool. Okay, so we'll make one of those Magpies Grotto Inn and Tavern run by uh, Magnus Pietrovanus. Uh, the the Natter Booze. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did you only get two and a half hours of sleep last night? Oh, yeah. That happens to me. Um, so, should we add any other twist to this story, Joe? Or what do you think? It's your call. If you want to add more twist, we can add more twist. I don't know. I don't know where how we would twist it again. You are totally or... throwing everything at me tonight. Well, yeah. You you lead. We do. Yeah. Um, I'm not, I'm not totally certain why there would be another twist. Like, no. uh, if know, we're like... trying to keep it kind of simple for new players, this is the best way. Should we should we name uh, Magnus's partner? Should we have a, a a wife or a partner or a daughter who who runs, who who is the bar maiden or, what do you sure. think? Sure. What would we call? What would we call them? I don't know. We need. Okay, so let's do that. In the in the next eighteen minutes, we'll do um, NPCs, and we'll do uh, Mag Magnus's wife, her name, and we'll do uh, not their daughter, but we'll just do a barmaid's name. Uh, we'll do the, um, this is a fishing village. We'll make it a fishing village. Sure, sure, that works. Because it's near the ocean. Um, so we need the name of a, uh, dock master. Uh, or, you know, the, whatever the name of that person would be. Okay. The local, yeah. Um, and they'd probably have a general store. So, what would the name of that general store be? Well, let's find Chickadee out. Chickadee is not a good idea, but Rylan, let's name their whiskey. There's a they make um they make a famous uh famous famous whiskey called what? Ma Magpie's no. Reserve. No. Oh. Not old fish bait McCorkle. Rylan. Let's, Let's see here. 
Let's think. Place, um, place names. Let's see here. Oh, we could go back Hold to on, our handy need... dandy Emily's site here. Is there a, a drink? Other drink name or? I think there is. Alcohol. Um, uh, wait a minute. I think I saw a drink. Just yeah, drink name. Oh, is there a drink name? I didn't see yes. it. Yes. Uh, so let's see. You want a whiskey? Let's find yeah. a whiskey. Yeah, find a whiskey. Let's see here. Other names drink. Oh, that's just that's just calling it what it is. It's fresh whiskey. That's not you can't say that. That's just like calling it blue. That's not. Yeah. How about uh, savage something? Savage snake. Savage garden. No. Um, <laughs> jerk seasoning. No. <laughs> you're a jerk seasoning. Uh, I like sea foam. I like sea foam because it is coming up from whiskey. the ocean. Sure. Yeah. Sea foam. What? Sea foam. Bitter. Ooh, yeah. I like bitter. Okay, good. So there's a new, there's a whiskey called Sea Foam Bitter. Sold exclusively at Magpies. Okay, so what's the general store in that area? The fishing village, the general store. Is there a name uh, on the other here? Um, fishing village. Fishing. That's not a general store. Let's uh, let's look here. Card game names. That's cool. Store. Um. It's probably gonna well, be let's, some sort of. Well, let's see here. We're we're working on a general's goods. <laughs> general's goods. <laughs> I mean that would kind of that would kind of get your tropiness yeah. out of the way in the first, in the first game. Um, With the shop, keep, yeah, they keep yeah. name the general <laughs> sponsor us. I don't really see. I think I'm looking in the wrong place. Fantasy Let's names, see here. store names. I don't see. I don't see one either. I saw on the store. That's a, That's okay. We don't really need the. Um, the name generator. I know we like using it as much yeah, as possible. Yeah, no, we could. Yeah, we could come up with our own. So this is um, a uh, seaside town. Yeah. Oh. And. Yeah, and it's Elmatar. So it could play off that if we wanted to. Let's let's play it off the names of the people active in our chat. Um, we've got GM, GMV, and Rylan, who are being active right now. So what let's... about what about Rylan's bait and tackle? I love it. No, you're a general goods store owner. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Rylan. Congratulations on your <laughs> Rylan's bait and switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, game master. What is your what name do you want to be referred by other than uh, GMV? If not, we can make you um, uh, Gamaba. Maximus, I'm trying to come up with what's the G Gamaba. Or B in it. A lot of naughty kids in town, so they need them switches. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's Gamava Denton. It's a human. Uh, a human. Uh, just human. Yeah, sure. And the barmaid's name. All uh, right, the uh, barmaid. Barmaid would be, I feel, a uh, gnome. A gnome? Ooh, yes. okay. And... Penelope. Penelope. I like Penelope. Yeah. Yep. Penelope. And uh, Magnus's wife. Uh, she's a dwarf. Uh -huh. And her name is... Her name is uh oh these are these are hard to pronounce. Yeah, they are. Dwarf names on the generator. Ruth. Are. Ruth. Ruth. Okay. Yeah, because the but it's spelled he, R O U T H. Ruth. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Ruth. With like a superfluous e on the end. R O U T H E. Ruth. With like Perfect. A Ruth Piotrovanus. I love it. Okay. 
so there we go we've got our we've got a little bit of our village um are there any other known stores or shops or um like uh, is it a farm fishing and farm village is it just for fishing um how do, how do they sustain life how do they what is their trade other than fishing well i was wondering if maybe they're like not much of an export like they're just fishing because they're on the coast, not because like they're on a major trade route. They so just maybe live just day to day. Yeah. So Basket just like the leaders. fish, the fish comes in and it's sold to the townsfolk, and maybe there's like a couple farms further out that just feeds the village, and then like whatever's whatever is left over goes over to Ryland's bait and tackle. Yeah. So bait and switch. Bait and switch. <laughs> Hello, Vicky Hedgehog. Hey, Vicky Hedgehog. <laughs> Ninety six. Of the of the mighty hedgehog. There were plan. there were ninety five Vicky hedgehogs before. Yes. So there's a local elven uh, woman who crafts baskets. Yes. A basket weaver. Yeah. Not Her underwater, be... just regular. Oh. All right, Vicky Hedgehog ninety six. We need the name of Magnus and Ruth's son. Oh, nice. Their last name is Pio Trevenus. And he is learning how to be a fisherman. He works he works at Ryland's Bait and Tackle. How about Bait and Tackle and Switch? They can have three sons if you promise you aren't trying to Yeah, no. Nope. No. <laughs> no, we're not doing Larry, Daryl, and Daryl. Uh, or are we doing Larry, Moe, and Carly? Let let Vicky Hedgehog ninety six get a word in edgewise. We need yes. them to give us a son's name, a dwarven son's name. Peter, uh, Pegleg Pete, Pirate Prince. Oh, Peter Piotrovanus, Jamal. Jamal, I love it. Jamal Piotrovanus, and uh, he aspires. <laughs> I love this. This is perfect to uh, be a great fisherman. Perfect. Oh, and he works as an assistant at uh, Ryland's. Perfect. What does he look like? He's a, he's a dwarf? He's going to be the very best. Um, he's a dwarf. Let's say he, uh, he has red hair. Because his father's was probably red and then went white. Sure. Red hair, uh, short beard, uh, tall. We'll say he's tall for a dwarf. Uh, and what does Ruth look like? She's uh, stout, has brown hair, and a thick brown beard. As all good dwarven women should. Yes. You're kidding. Oh, well, we're, we're, you, well, we're, you we're, came to our little show to watch. Thank you. We are so lucky to have you. Yes, we are. Thank you so much. Um, typically, we're playing Dungeons and Dragons, but on Thursdays, we write our little one shots. If you've ever played Dungeons and Dragons before, this is my home world of Amonrath. I will quickly scroll up and show you the map that we're slowly building over all these uh, Thursdays. My wonderful co-host Joe here. Oh, I did it right. There's Joe. Hi, Joe. High five. Woohoo! And we just spend an hour writing a story with the help of uh, our chat. I mean, that's how I ended up on Twitch. I said, "Oh, really? I didn't know that." Was it Ryland? I didn't know that. McDonald's run by Ronald McDonald. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Game Master, forget it. <laughs> maybe but, he could be like a traveling salesman. Um, <laughs> maybe. That's a very small maybe. Um, but on Tuesday nights, we do play Dungeons and Dragons with uh, the Banana Brothers, a bunch of intrepid adventurers with an intelligence no higher than six. So they run into a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. We have a traveling necromancer, Rylan. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, the land above. I've definitely heard of them. That's great. 
This <laughs> big Mac and Game Master. <laughs> That's nasty. Game Master's on fire tonight. Uh, he it's is tonight. Kind of they fire. are on fire. It's the fire that like, names and and leaves it's a really scar. Cool, it's a really cool podcast. You should go check it out, Rylan. Vicky Hedgehog already told you, Rylan, if you were paying attention, know, it's pay a attention, podcast, dude. and one of her best friends is part of it. Yeah. So, yeah, who's your best friend? I want to know. It's a novel minced beef sandwich. Oh. Now I can get behind the idea of a traveling salesman who sells who sells novelty minced sandwiches. I can yeah. too, actually. Oh, what's it about? I actually knew what it was about. I ran an ad for them one time, and now I can't remember what it was. Oh. Tell them about the Land Above podcast, because Rowan loves D&D also. Everybody here loves D&D. We all love D Dungeons and Dragons. Or we wouldn't be here. Oh, yeah, and Game Master. Yeah, so then the, the twist is, like, the special sauce is some morally ambiguous... I love D&D. <laughs> <laughs> kidding me? I love D&D so much that I play... A dwarf every Saturday at 6:30 Eastern PM on Twitch.tv slash Riff and Rabble, and we're having a great a great blast at it. That and, link is uh, below his but, name, right there, way down there. <clears throat> Kai boy, <clears throat> yay! Shout out to Riff and Rabble. <clears throat> okay, so we only have five minutes left, and I'm making. Oh, look, here's my newest. I'm making this mob to throw at the Banana Brothers on Tuesday. What do you think? It's not Let's done see. yet. Let's have a look. Oh. But look at that. I used wire and, and Gorilla Glue. It's Tranquil. a twig. He'd be so proud. It's actually wire. I need to finish it. But look how big it is. Look at the base. It's a huge creature. I can't wait to throw it at him. The glue is not dry yet. It'll be really nice. My fingers are all sticky now. Okay, so we've got an awesome, nice and easy level one. Oh, wait, the title it. What should we call this? We should call it uh, Magpies. What if we call it? What's the name of the? What's the name of the tavern? The tav name of the tavern is uh, uh, Magpies uh, uh, Inn and Tavern. Magpies, yeah, Magpies well, Grotto. So, uh, so what if we call it a night at Magpies? Like, I like or it. one night at Magpies. One night at Magpies and no, uh, no, it's a. I was waiting for you to finish singing. No, I'm not singing. Uh, I'm not singing a really bad moment to moment. Uh, cover of One Night in Bangkok. <laughs> I like that though. One Night at Magpies. That's great. Although now in my head I can... It's going through. You're, it's you're starting, seeing the to video. Come, it's starting to come together. I'm you're starting seeing to see the, the, the chess game video? Yeah. We're old, Vicky. <laughs> okay, boy. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, We're actually... Uh, Three sheets, one shot. This is our third to the last show. We're we're stopping at the end of April, and I'm concentrating mostly on D and D with the Banana Brothers. But Joe has uh, been the most awesome co-host ever, and it's going to be sad to to not do this anymore. But I need to concentrate more on getting stuff done for the Banana Brothers focus, and man. finishing. Focus. What's that? That's what, that's what that's what you need. You need focus. That's why focus. that's why we're we're focusing on the Banana Brothers. Yes, that's what it is. It's focus. But I do have a bunch of writing to do. I have this story now, and I have last week's um, Dinosaur Deception, which was fantastic. Last week's episode was wonderful. It was one of my favorite episodes. And um, did I finish the... I finished the, the Drowned and the Damned? Yeah, I finished that one. That was fun. Rylan asked a very poignant question. Oh, I'm, uh -oh, <laughs> I'm not gonna That I'm not going to repeat, because I don't want to have to run away, too. Oh, yeah. I will finish Miramore, I promise. <laughs> now that I have the the what is it the um the Liquitex stuff, I will finish it. It might be a smaller version of what it is, but I will finish it. But I, I owe Joe some terrain first. So I'm gonna work on some terrain for Joe. 
Joe's gonna get some new terrain to display all his models. Yep, he's got three terrain pieces coming to him, if not more. And some minis. I gave him some minis earlier. You missed that. I can't wait. I haven't decided which minis, but some of these. I've got hundreds, literally hundreds of them sitting around. And they're not all in... Some of them are in pieces. Yes, and if you wanna, if you wanna be up to date on the painting process of those and many of the other minis, uh, just look for at Big Old Joe on Twitter. Yeah, check him out because I offered him some of these minis to paint and to keep for himself. And guess what he's doing? He's giving them away on Twitter. So keep a, a, a watch for that. You don't have to give them all away. You can give them well, yeah, away. no, I, I'm not, I don't think I'll give keep them all away. Some of them are just too, keep the too dwarves. Dead on awesome. Yeah, I'm definitely going to keep the dwarves. That goes without saying. All right, so we've got one night at Magpies. And look at that. It's 9 o'clock, Joe. Beautiful. Who are I we going to raid? We need to raid oh, somebody. Oh, Cell. Cell is, is live. Cell. We need to go raid Cell for sure. Yep. All right, so let me put us on the thank you screen. Hey, thanks, Vicky, for joining us. Don't forget to um, follow. See yep. if Sir Mimsy, shout, he may not shout out because I think I turned that off. Give us a follow and. I, think, uh, I didn't hear mine when I talked in the chat. Yeah, and uh, let's go raid somebody. Let's, let's uh, put it on the thank you screen. There we oh go. Oh boy. Oh boy. My favorite. I get to talk on the thank you screen. Oh, we all do. And it's fun. We all get to talk on the thank you screen, Charlie. While, while we remind, while we remind Kajari that it's slash raid. I know. I always forget that. ID. And it's Cell. Kuth. What is she doing? Uh, just chatting right now. But I think she's getting ready to um, to go into uh. Go okay. into a, uh, a a game. Okay. Yes. Oh yeah, they they do trivia on Nerdsmith every not Friday. That's when they do karaoke. When do they do trivia? Is it tonight? It might be tonight. Oh, I probably should have rated Nerdsmith. Ah, that's all right. I didn't see Nerdsmith. Are they on? I didn't see. Them. I I didn't see them, and then I looked over, oh, and then I saw. Oh, there they them. are. They're just below the fold. I just it's tonight. Oh well, we're already rating. Did I did I rate? Yes, we're going now. Okay, yeah, here we go. All right, good night, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us and uh, tune in on Tuesday for D and D with the Banner Brothers. But don't forget Joe on Riff and Rebel Saturday, Saturday, 6 30 p.m. Eastern. Yes. Twitch.tv slash Riff and Rebel. Come on by. Yeah. We'd love to have you. Yay! Bye. Okay. Bye.